Hey guys, CobDev here, and today we're going to be learning how to make true first-person uh, perspective. Um, so you can look down, see your body rather than just arms, um, move around, camera controls, and movement. Um, it's real simple, just take a few minutes, um, so let's go ahead and get started. Alright, now once that loads up, let's go ahead and click New Project, and we're going to click Third Person. Uh, we want it Desktop Console, Maximum Quality, and With Starter Content. So... We're going to name this True First Person. All right. Create project. Um, that's going to take a couple of minutes to load up, um, so I'll just cut this out. Alrighty, so now that we have this all loaded up, as you can see, the default is third person, obviously, um, which works pretty well. Um, the only thing we're going to do is just change it to True First Person. All right, so we're going to want to open up the the uh, third person character blueprint. So if you're in content, go to third person BP, third person blueprint, uh, blueprints, and he's right there. So open that guy up. And uh, I personally like to get rid of like the touch input, gamepad input and stuff. It's not necessary, we just won't use it. Um, I just like to keep things clean. Uh, all right, so we're gonna jump into the viewport. First thing we're gonna do is delete the camera boom. And we got to get the follow camera and make it a child of the mesh. So just drag it and drop it right on top of there. Um, now we get the follow camera and we got to make sure we parent socket it to the head. Um, I don't know why my thing jumps all the way over here. It always does that, but it doesn't matter. Just type in head and click on that. Perfect. So it's going to kind of make it jump to the side and rotate it. Don't really know why it does that. doesn't really matter. It's an easy fix. So we'll just make location 0, 0, 0. Um, and then if we rotate the X to negative 90 or 270, uh, that'll work perfectly. There we go. Um, now, as you can see, if we just left it like this and we looked around, you like to look down, you'd probably see inside your chest, maybe your shoulders, top of your head, stuff like that. So what I found out really works, because um, you have to kind of position it to be where his eyes are. What works really well for me is Y at 20 and X at 5, I'm keeping Z at 0. Um, I feel like that kind of is right where his eyes are at. It's what I always use. Uh, you can mess around with it as much as you want, but that's what I like to do. So um, just a couple more steps. We want to make sure we click Use Pawn Control Rotation. That's important. And then go into Third Person Character Self, and we also want to click Use Controller Rotation Yaw. So let's go ahead and compile this. Save. And I believe that should be everything. It's pretty simple. All right, yeah, we look down to see our body. We look up. We don't see our head, camera controls all work, we can walk around, jump, um, yeah, perfect. So it's as simple as that. Um, some people like to move the camera a little farther down because see, if we're looking forward and we jump, you kind of only get the tip of his fingers right in there. Uh, some people kind of like to move the camera down a little bit, kind of more, more um, uh, I'm sorry, more where his neck or chest might be so that if um, you kind of get more of that, your hands and that jumping animation, see, uh, I personally don't care for it. Um, I like to I like it to be a little more, more where his eyes are, but that is um, all that you need to do. Um, please comment any questions, and I will see you next time. Thank you very much.